Hi, this is Anushree from Relo and in the next six videos, I will, I will be showing you how you can customize feedback in Relo and how you can acquire more and more reviews and ratings every time a customer makes a purchase at your store. So let's get started. I have signed into my Relo account and in the left tab, you will see an option called feedback and then you go to click uh, edit feedback settings. Now, if you're a first time user, you'll have a slightly different screen, but I'm going to get started with my account. You click on edit feedback and over here, there's a sample uh, design that is already there for you. You can customize every part of this design. So I'm going to show you how you can do. You can upload your own video. You can change theme color and you can pick anything from your logo or any other color. You can also change the text color. Now, the other section is uh, feedback reward. So you can, uh, you know, reward your customers for giving you a feedback. So you can add 100 points or say 20 points. And these points will get added in the loyalty, uh, in the loyalty program. Then we also have an uh, option where you can ask them a question about how was their experience. This is the most obvious one, but you can type in and customize any other questions that you have. You can choose the different rating styles. So you want a smiley or you want to go with the number systems. You can uh, customize that part. Now over here, you can click and see and interact uh, as how a customer would actually interact um, with the feedback. So if they select, say, if they give you five, um, you know, a five star rating, then you can ask a follow up positive question. So you can just ask glad to hear what you like and you can give them options about, you know, uh, maybe they like food, they like services, uh, they like cleanliness. So you can check or uncheck any of these options and then customer can just select from here and give a feedback. Now, in case a customer gives uh, a negative feedback, so say they chose the second uh, star or the second rating, then you can also ask, uh, sorry to hear, uh, tell us what went wrong. So you can also ask a follow-up question when they give you a negative feedback. Again, they can choose that, okay, maybe the service was bad, uh, ambience was uh, bad and everything else was fine. Along with that, they can also give you a custom comment. So they can say, um, say for the positive one, they can say um, good stuff uh, or anything else that they want to write. They can communicate that to you. Then you can also ask uh, if, if you are doing some marketing activities, you can also ask where did they heard about your store or where did they heard about your restaurant? So when I do next, they, they have an option to choose from any of these things. You can also add any other options, which is not mentioned over here. And then you can ask whether you want to ask for a feedback immediately as soon as they make the purchase or after a delay. So if you're selecting immediately with a purchase and you have loyalty activated, then the customer will receive communication about the feedback as well as your loyalty program. If you select after a delay, then you can decide as how much time after they have made the purchase, you want to send the feedback communication. So in this case, it can go after one hour or it can go uh, after, you know, like after certain minutes. So I'm going to keep this option selected as immediately after the purchase. Now let's go next. The second step is about channel of communication. So you can decide what channel of communication do you want to use to communicate about your feedback program. So I have selected WhatsApp and email. Now this will go uh, as a message uh, in the WhatsApp and in the message, there'll be a link that will redirect them to the feedback page and they can give you a feedback. If you have an in-store tablet, then you can also enable this option and they can give you a uh, feedback immediately on the screen. Now I'm going to talk about how that tablet work in the, in the following videos, but for now I'm going to select this option as the external link. Moving forward to the third step. Now the third step is about getting an alert every time a customer sends a negative feedback. So for that, you can choose any of your preferred channel of communication. I'm going to select that option uh, as WhatsApp for me. And you can add as many numbers as you want where you want uh, to get notified every time there's a negative feedback. Going to the fourth and the last step, this is about reputation builder where you can also let your users share a positive feedback to any of your Google page or any of your TripAdvisor or Zomato link or any other link that you may have. You can decide for both the positive customers or just uh, a customer who has sent a five star rating to you. And with this, your feedback is activated.